fellow YouTubers, uh, RWD re Research. Um, yeah, I just want to show you different configurations at this point. Um, here I got my negative. Uh, I got the capacitor set up to the negative. I got that capacitor set up, connected to uh, one end of this capacitor here. I got two grounds now. I'm working with two grounds. I got a ground wire here connected to this. Then now this is uncharged. This is totally uncharged at this point. This is where I get my spark. And I also have, now if I take this off here, I also got that charged. So, I take all kinds of different setups now, because this is very easy to, to separate charges. Ow, it likes to go through my leg, okay. Um, so yeah. Here you see, see the small spark, very small spark, right? Now, if I short this small cap, I get a small spark. Okay, I have to have a gap. Allow it to discharge. Okay, at this point, the secondary conductor here is uncharged. And I got a ground. I grounded the, the secondary conductor, so the, the secondary conductor is fully grounded. One wire only is connected to the large capacitor here. And uh, yeah, if I take another ground, what happens? Nothing. So two grounds here isn't working, see? But, If I was to set it up like this, so you get this discharge here, and then I got the secondary. Whoa! We got a green spark. Oh, look, we got green uh, energy here. What do we got? Crooks discharge. A back EMF, solely a back EMF. Look at it, it has nowhere to go. Look at that. Back EMF. Uh-oh. Whoa, there it is. So, what did we do? Uh, 